Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and actually share the um, bloody link here, and then we'll get started. It's actually quite funny, to be honest, it's been a while since I last played War in the West. Uh, the other time, the, well, the actual most recent time was the other night on this Sullivan channel. I tell you what, and it, this is it. I don't know, it, it never really felt or sat right with me before that to a degree. But I think after playing the 1944-45 campaign, I think it's one of those of where... I don't know, I think I can actually see where the enjoyment is there. So I think it's one of those positions of where the Allies aren't going to be, like, easily dislodged, you know what I mean? It's definitely, definitely against you. You do have an opportunity to pull off the Battle of the Bulge if you so wish to do so. And I like the fact that we have the, uh, the choice there. I like that. I like having that sort of choice there. So I think it'll be quite a fun campaign. Should be rather interesting, actually. Hey, Dylan Alexander, good to have you, my friend. <laughs> hip hoop. <laughs> hip hip hooray. <laughs> oh my god, we got our asses handed to us last time, didn't we? Absolutely handed. Right, let's see. Air execution phase high. Um, I meant to actually go ahead and actually check out some different mods and different settings and etc. But I haven't had the opportunity. The thing is, I'm just, like, unbelievably busy sometimes. Okay. So we're going to go for the, uh... Is it 43 to 40? No, it's not a 43. Which one was it now? I think it was the, um... May start, was it? No, it's the 45 campaign. That's it. It's the 45 campaign. Right. I think it's this one. We'll go ahead and double check. Just make sure it's this one. And then we should be fine. I don't think we have uh, save issues in one of the West. So I think it's a bit more modern, ideally. Hmm. Okay, we'll go ahead and check this out then. Yeah, here we go. This is the right one. Okay. Uh, we'll actually take a look over here. Because <laughs> it did make me laugh. I completely bloody forgot about Italy last time. I'm like, oh yeah, there's Italy. <laughs> oh, that old jab. Who would have thought about that? Yeah, completely forgot about that. Can I go ahead and share this to you, um, the YouTube? Let's see. I'm gonna have to have like two seconds here so I can publish a video for the Wonder uh, Pacific turn resolution. This is what I mean by I'm bloody busy sometimes. It's like I'm always doing something. Oh, I did post that's good. Okay. Ask me one second. I'm just gonna get this video ready, and then we'll be good. What do you guys think then? Do we go for the Battle of the Bulge? Do we attempt it? Do we want to go for that? Do we want to try uh, holding off? I mean, it's a case of, well, if we hold off, obviously we retain quite a lot of capability there. It would definitely drag things on. Oh, did I not even share? Oh, I did. Oh, God. So this is, I forgot to release the actual uh, THG stream on the actual YouTube, so. I'm always behind here, aren't I? Always really behind. Let's see. Yeah, we could go for that. Or we could avoid it. That's what I like. I like that choice. Okay. Hmm. Be just a moment. Just getting this ready, and then I'll be able to release that in just a second. It's quite funny actually. Add more dad man uh, thumbnail. Like, I've got it as, uh, <laughs> as, uh, us. Obviously, on the Japanese side, playing, well, actually, as Ghidorah, and Dadman as, like, uh, Godzilla. Because it was a little bit like that at the, at the start, where we were just kicking his ass at the start. But I think we're now, uh, <laughs> Godzilla. Because we're getting our ass kicked. We need to come back. Okay, it's be one sec here, guys. I know I keep saying that. I'm not, I'm, I can't see replies, which is why I'm probably just talking to myself on this one. Okay. Right, there we go. Awesome. Right, can concentrate now. That's cool. Ooh, we got other people. Hey, David Vodafone. Good to have you, my friend. Uh, how, long could the, how long could the game go if we uh, successfully defend? Uh, we have a 25 turn of this campaign. So, I don't know. Maybe it goes on to the war's end then, which is interesting. 
I'd like to see how long could we stand to be allied on, on small. Right, maybe it's one of these. We have a chance of potentially breakthrough. It can be done. It'd be very interesting to see what a campaign would be like actually having to try and uh, uh, continue afterwards, you know what I mean? Because it's like, in the scenarios, yes, you might be able to achieve victory. But it's like, what the hell do you do then? <laughs> you might have bled yourself to do it. Okay. At least we're a little bit more familiar with what we need to do here then, so that's pretty good then. Um, as far as it goes to the actual air, that's going to be an interesting one. Yeah, manual air attacks, and yeah. This is it, I'm not uh, at the behest of the clock. So that does make things significantly easier. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of detail here. I'm looking forward to when we finally do get one of these two, just because I'm looking forward to seeing what we can actually do here. Like, is all this, I don't know whether it's actually worthwhile uh, considering the suicide attack with Luftwaffe for a breakthrough. <laughs> well, I mean, this is it. Let's see. We did well when we had the reconnaissance. The issue was the combat commands. That's the difficult part, man. I think higher reconnaissance would definitely help us out, really. Yeah, there's a lot of detail in the air. It's really quite nice. I'm looking forward to it as well. I really like the actual uh, logistics. The logistics definitely does make it a hell of a lot more fun, really. Because you actually just... It's nice to see where things are going. You can actually manipulate where things go as well, which is quite good. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead here then. And uh, what was the button then uh, to show? Air directives. Shift Y, okay. Yeah, so right now we have reconnaissance. We have, I might go ahead and actually give you reconnaissance, to be honest, because we have reconnaissance across the area. Uh, we do want to have reconnaissance elsewhere. I think what we'll do is we'll manually target additional... I might even put additional reconnaissance assets in this area, considering this is where the breakthrough is. And, like, recomplaints have three different cameras for different altitudes. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of detail like that. Really is very interesting. Really cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one over here. So... Does it actually have aircraft assigned to it? Yes, it is okay. Um... Uh, I could sign additional aircraft there. Oh, obviously they're way too far out of range there. And I could transfer them. But I might be taking them from other uh, needs, really. Uh, difficulty is obviously the weather. The weather's not exactly great. So I don't know whether a night reconnaissance would do much good. I think probably day reconnaissance is still fine. Uh, we could potentially take it from elsewhere, possibly. So, what I'm going to do here... I mean, even that one comes in useful. So there's positions here that we do need to take. I mean, in fairness, they're, they're spread across there quite nicely. Uh, I could take the concerts from over here, really. But then again, that's somewhat distance. I think we'll have to leave the concerts it is then. Uh, should be fine enough. Yeah, it'd be nice to think, oh, night reconnaissance would help us, but I don't think it'd do as much good. Uh, so this is it, really. We need to take a look now. We need to figure out what we need to do here. I mean, Baston isn't worth taking. There's no real gain in taking Baston. Um, where are the uh, uh, victory locations? Okay. Yeah, so we have Antwerp as our victory location. Paris over there. It'd be amazing if we could actually try to retain, well, regain Paris. That'd be incredible. That'd be a very interesting thing. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen, frankly. You can, there's a reason why most of the victory locations are in Germany, uh, German-occupied uh, territory, because yeah, uh, the war doesn't doesn't actually end with an Allied defeat. <laughs> Shockingly, uh, we do have the capability to potentially bomb enemy airfields. I mean, that could be something worthwhile doing, really. Of course, it does help, but then this is a question of like, well, there's a lot of Allied air power. So I'll give it a little bit of a, uh, get a few minutes here. What do you guys reckon then? Let, let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think we should go heavier on? Should go heavier on the ground support or do go heavier on the ground attack, really? Or do we even go for logistics? Uh, I'd like to hear what you guys think. Hmm. It's a, uh, interesting question, really. Nine air your bombings. Uh, yeah, potentially so. That might not be a bad idea. I mean, I potentially like the Arados, obviously, because they're very fast. They don't have a great payload, uh, but they're very fast. It might be like a worthwhile um, idea to use them like that. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, there's so many aircraft, I don't think you can put it down. Yeah, this is the problem, really. It's just, yeah, it's just, even if you, like, take out one airfield, they're going to come from elsewhere. So if we go over here, then, to the air transfers. And this is at 130 there. But even even though there's 130 concentrated here of fighters, there's just so many others over here. And then we look at, like, uh, essentially Britain, and you're, you're looking at, yeah, okay. That's a lot of air power. That is indeed a lot of air power. So the question comes down to, well, what can you do about it? <laughs> Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot, really. Which is a, uh, a bit of a problem, frankly. It's a bit of a problem, but... Kind of have to accept it. I mean, that's like a very far forward airfield. It's unbelievably far forward. There's not much you can do about that. Uh, fighter bases must be on the front line. If you focus on front line airfields and go air sporadic with your own fighters, you might interdict his bombs without escorts. Potentially so. It might be worthwhile. I mean, if we take a look at the principal airfields, we do see uh, we see the one over here at uh, Florence. Florence, I think, is how you pronounce that. Uh, Juvincourt. Juvincourt. Yeah, he has principal airfields over here at Centron. How do you want to pronounce that? Um, Legal <laughs> I'm just trying to make a French pronunciation to make it work. Yeah, he has a yeah over here, over here, 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 yeah. Oh here, oh here as well. Yeah. You try and look for like principal concentrations and you find them, but the issue is you find you find a lot of them. You find more and more, you're like, hmm, oh snap. Um I mean arguably that one might be the one to look for. And this is it as well. With them being on level 3 airfields, it's hard to knock them out. Um, I mean, that is a level 2 airfield at Eindhoven. Yeah, there's a large airfield over here at uh, Volkville as well. That's what's on the front lines. Hmm. Issue is, it doesn't particularly help us over... I mean, we could try and knock them out. I mean, we could do it uh, from a few different locations, really, to be fair. Uh, so it's not a bad idea. And we'll see about missions. I think possibly concentrating on this one is a little bit closer to our main airfields if we could have clone. So we might go for central one. Well, a lot of airfields, uh, so a lot of fighters there. We might go for that. Ground attack, where's airfield attack? Um, is it just set as that's ground attack, that's air superiority, strategic bombing, ground support? Is it just, uh, this one? Hey, didn't that wrong? Good to have you, my friend. Don't get to see you all that often, right? A lot of stuff in ground attack. Right, okay. So, that's the main one we're looking for. You can see, obviously, all the airfields over here. Righto. Has been a little while since I last played, hasn't it? Select target hex. And that is the drone. I'm just going to miss, I'm just going to obviously butcher the pronunciation here. I hope you guys realize. Uh, we'll do that at night then. Minimum flying is poor. Fair, good, excellent. Just just go with all, essentially. Well, I will go with poor then. I don't think it really particularly matters because you can't go much. I mean, even all, it's like okay, but we'll just go with poor. Tiger priority. Yeah. Yeah, oh, right, now it's coming back to me. So airfield, there we go. Mm, intensity, we want it obviously to be as high as we can there. It has indeed been a while. Has indeed been a while. Go with all, you reckon? I don't think it actually changes how many aircraft we get in there. 141, 515. I mean, we might as well go with all then if it doesn't make that much of a difference. So we'll go with that then. I mean, the altitude is really awesome. I love the fact they can actually, like, decide how many days they're going to fly as well. That's really cool. I mean, this is it. Um, mm, do we just go for one day uh, of an attack? I think it might be worthwhile just to go for one day, perhaps. So I don't think we're gonna... I don't know, we could we could attack it again, but the issue is then, well... I think we're only gonna get one real shot at it, but I don't know, what do, what do you guys reckon? Hmm. Three days, you think? Oh, you mean day three. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with that then. I don't particularly mind. It's one of these things I'm so rusty when it comes to like war in the West. It'd be nice to give it a more of a go though. Also gives them that rest between hand uh, between them, doesn't it? Uh, so I could obviously tell them to fall back path if I so we should do so. I like the fact they can actually tell them where to come in as well, that's pretty handy. And at least for the most part we are flying over uh, the uh, our own territory as well, which is quite nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's 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 a cool point. That's a cool thing. Yeah, it's really cool like that. Part escort? I'm going to assume that means partial escort or something of that nature. Strike number... Uh, I guess just leave it... I don't know. We, we could just leave it at auto then, actually. So auto's two, isn't it? Hmm. We'll mess about with that one later on. And this is it. 9,000 feet. It's in the daytime as well, isn't it? So the issue is it depends on like what sort of AA he has, really. <laughs> so this is it. It's going to be learning. It's going to be a lot of learning here. Uh, we'll go ahead and see what we have available then. Uh, so we have uh, tactical bombers. I think essentially what we want to do then is just try and knock out this airfield if we can. Uh, though, but again, it might be worthwhile just going with the level bombers, really. I think the tactical bombers are probably better in the ground attack role due to the fact that uh, they are faster and a little bit more capable of looking after themselves, I suppose you could say. But it depends, really. Uh, we'll commit the uh, level bombers. I mean, we've got the Arados over here. Oh, you're all the way over here then. Hmm. What we'll do then is we'll transfer them. Hey, where the hell are they? There's ME 262s over here. Yeah, there's just so much detail here. Yeah? Bring me a coffee as well, man. <laughs> That'd be great. Right, let's look at the Arados. See, I don't know what the red actually means here. Set our group filters. Oh, that's the one that we're looking for. Okay. And I would like to have them move to... See, I'd like to see our own... We have filters, right, so we'll still got you selected. Seventy percent of that base. Fifty two over here. A larger air base is obviously a good idea. And we do have a decent build up of air power in the area, in fairness. It's not like humongous, but it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good for what we can manage. Uh, so I might go with the air, air through over here. I think uh, it's a decent number of them, 59. So it's no joke, is it? It's no like... Hmm. Well, that's at half capacity. It is, I think, a little bit closer. Yeah, it's a little bit closer to where we want to go. So I guess we'll have them uh, not transferred there because I didn't select it properly learning that. Okay was here. Could try and concentrate jets. I mean, this is a cool part of having freaking jets. Rather go transfer them. So cool. And this is what I can't wait for, is like having this sort of detail in the east. It's going to be freaking amazing. Uh, I can't remember what mod I'm using, but it looks amazing when having the actual images. Like, I freaking love that. It's so good. So we do have a loadout over here. I mean, this is the awesome part of the loadout. So we're going to have them go ahead and actually carry... I mean, this is it. Do we want to carry, like, two 500-pound bombs? Or do we want to carry, like, one 1,000-pound bomb? Uh, and it does have real effects, actually, on the aircraft's performance, which is really cool. And you can see, like, the two 500s obviously would... Uh, it reduces the climb only by 400. Uh, maneuver max speed there. You can see, obviously, that reduces our max speed pretty, pretty big, pretty massively. It also gives them the drop tanks. 
So obviously we can have the choice of the bombs and etc. And we can obviously have the choice of like drop tanks, uh, drop tanks too. Uh, I think we're probably better off with like the two five hundreds, to be honest. The reason being, it doesn't slow us down as much. But I don't know, maybe we are better off with a thousand. But then again, this is it, isn't it? Uh, well, they're still bringing a thousand pounds. Well, they're, they're bringing a thousand kilograms of bomb there. But they're bringing it in like two halves. I think it's probably better to stick with like the twos, uh, two five hundreds, just because it's one of these of, well, uh, you don't need to blow the hell out of the airfield as such, you just need to like really create the hell out of it. Though it could be more effective if we hit, but then again this is it, it's like, at least you get two chances to hit the airfield rather than just one chance, but at least that one chance is going to do a whole lot of damage. But it would slow us down. Uh, we'll go with that then, we'll stick with that. I don't think we need um, any drop tanks, because it's not that far as I'm, as I'm aware. I've got 300, no, 268 mile range. Um, how you doing there, Com? Good to have you, my friend. I think we're within range. Should be within range. As is, we could potentially even, like, change pilots out if we uh, had the experience there. Right, okay. 79%. Uh, that one's only at 44% there, but obviously you'd like to have a larger airfield, to be honest. I think we'll try to just, like, mass as much airpower as we can, really, in that area. Uh, it's going to be difficult, because obviously we'd like to have larger bases, but this is in. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the Mark 14 jet. <laughs> uh, exactly, they won't know what hit them because, <laughs> well, even if it hits, it doesn't really do that much. Like, we have the ME163s over here. These guys are freaking cool, but yeah. There's so much detail here. And it's pretty aura inspired, really. Focker Woods. And this is it. If we take a look at the actual Focker Woods, then. Um, see, it'd be nice if we had something like akin to like a service rating, just so we could get an idea of like how how difficult it is to maintain them, really. Got 355 in the pool. Yeah. Hmm. Just trying to decide really what we want to have there. And we have HS2. Oh, those are uh, night fighters, I think, aren't they? Can't strip that much away from other sectors. That's the only problem. So we're going to try and find quality. We do have some ME262s over here. It might be worth for us to potentially get them there. Yeah, that'd be cool. It's German that have probably complex to maintain. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, let's see. Uh, then again, even having the ME262s, it, it's like, it's cool, but it's like, how much good does it actually really do us? I mean, we're not going to win the air. We're not going to win it. Even with jets, we're not going to win it. So I don't know. Might as well leave them to intercept uh, strategic. It would be. We can have it shifted through then when we actually capture, like, ideally, like, a high-level airfield. I'd like to have, like, a really forward airfield, but a decent airfield. That'd be nice. Um, let's shift a little bit of extra force, so that's not too bad then. Back in the day, the ME163 was stationed at the airbase. Oh, that's really awesome. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. So this is it because obviously I'm fairly versed when it comes to the game. It's it's hard to really think what our uh, capabilities are to a degree. Look before we could potentially strip some air power. I think we'll go ahead and take those uh, two six twos then. Yeah, I can see that's the limit of our transfer range. Hmm. Seventy percent. Eighty-seven. 
Yeah. We do have other airfields over here, but these are like level one airfields. I mean, we have this airfield over here, but I've got a fair range in, in uh, mind. Yeah. Uh, 163, yeah, well, that's it's essentially an interception fighter, isn't it? 100% there. I'm going to go for the larger airfield, to be honest. Rate 5, okay. Oh, well, we'll go for a little bit of a uh, gimmick then and try and find <laughs> the jets. <laughs> Let's see if the jets make a difference. Have I got all the Arados? Oh, there's another one over here, actually. I can have it transferred, actually, to Luftwaffe, uh, Luftflottilla Reich. Luftloft, Luftloft, Flot, Luftloft. Something like that. I'd be interested to see what happens. Oh, that's a different variant, isn't it? Yeah, and that's the awesome thing is you have all these different variants. Uh, we'll go by type, and then at least I can take a look a little bit easier. Now. Oh, no, let's go back to aircraft. Oh, here we go, ME 216. Yeah, there we go. We'll transfer them commands as well, actually. There's not a huge amount of them, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens, what they can do. Mm hmm Which is this one, then? Is this like a tactical bomber variant? Oh, it's a reconnaissance variant, which is really interesting. I mean, like, hmm. I mean, it's hella fast. Okay. Is there any point uh, transferring? Ah, uh, probably. Probably is worthwhile. But then again, we'll see. Uh, Got to get the airfield space, really, having first and foremost. Okay. Jeez, yeah. Fair KP is crazy. Still got some room there. That might be about full then after this. Yeah, there we go, that's full. Wow, that's like bang on the money there. Unless we've gone over it, but it looks like we're bang on the money. Uh, I do need to have him actually reassigned just to make sure everything goes right. I'm going to be really interested to see what happens. It'd be really cool to have, like, the jets over here. You can imagine the sheer amount of fuel requirements would be insane. Hmm. Experience is good. That's a very experienced group. Yeah, just maybe want to play, like, uh, Gregory's like, Bomb in the Reich. Alright, we have somewhat limited on range on this one. Could potentially have them transferred over here to Dortmund. Or can I make it over here? Oh, I can. That's good to know. Then. Oh, it's already assigned. Okay. Well, we do have some sort of capability for pilot management. Yeah, oh, that might be the transfer range.
Yeah, we're essentially concentrating on all the jets that we can manage. <laughs> to light bust, which is pretty freaking cool. And it's pretty freaking cool when you think about it. Okay, I guess we'll start making use of level 1. I don't particularly like that. Yeah, well, this is it. We know how to actually go ahead and deal with it now. Uh, it is going to be pretty tough, but we'll, we'll go ahead and try it. We should be able to manage it. I think it's just one of those you just need to know what to uh, go for, really. Right, so they're there. Uh, we have you guys down here, number 6. Pretty much concentrated on the jets. But this is it. They might as well be concentrated. Right. Does that mean the airbase is overburdened? I might want to go ahead and I should transfer a little bit of aircraft elsewhere. Um, ooh, that's filled up pretty quick. We've got another level 1 airfield here, to be honest. Now we've got the Junker 52s, and it's like, ah, they're good, but I can shift them elsewhere. Now will free up some capacity, really. And I might even want to potentially have them based... Um... Well, this is it, isn't it, really? Hmm. I might potentially have them moved into Essen. At least then we're in a big city. Uh, big city. There's a lot of AA there. I'll have them base over there. They're not going to be any use to us over here, really. And that's a lot of aircraft that have been shifted. Hell yeah, that's a lot of aircraft. Okay. Didn't imagine there was that many of them. See, that's a lot of capacity freed up there, too. So that's looking pretty cool. Right. Why oh, is that the uh, patrol variant? I wish that wouldn't scroll down. Well, I, wouldn't, I wish it wouldn't go back up. Oh, right. I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking it was like the Arado. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Okay. We have Moderados to work with now. Oh, right, here we go. Um, groups, there we are. Yeah, range is obviously something to take into consideration. Uh, so we'll have the Arados committed. Uh, now, actually, do we want to make this a night attack? The Arados are set to... Mm, they're set to day only. We could change that. Um... Hmm. I think we might just go with day, I guess. Yeah, a 1939-1940 version. I mean, this is it. It'd be really nice to actually have that ability to really do things. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, this is it. it. It's the speed of the goddamn thing, isn't it? I think that might be how we go with things. I think we may be... Uh, we, we just go with a speed, uh, essentially. I mean, we could have other level bombers in there, but we could potentially just have them like use like ground support, perhaps, or we potentially just hold them in reserve. We don't have to commit everything essentially. Uh, not not something that they might suffer in. Uh, we'll go with that. We'll go with the um, Arado. Right. Yeah, they're in. Okay. Yeah, like these Junkers. And Heinkels, I don't think they're going to be very suited to that. Might have to take a look at actually transferring command of some fighters here, because it looks like we have them under a different command, perhaps.
Or we could have them as they are. I mean, this is the entire point of the errata, isn't it? The fact that it is so bloody fast. And now what sort of altitude do we want to go for then? Hmm. This is the, um, the, uh, I mean, this is it. There's so many little details, isn't there? I don't know. I think we might go for, like, Maybe day two and five, perhaps. Try and give them that time between. I don't know. It's a, it's an interesting one, really. We'll just try things out. We can always try them out, can't we? I guess we'll go with a suggested vendor of like nine thousand. I guess. Strike numbers. I think we'll go with one, just to try and limit the amount of time that they're actually potentially being intercepted, perhaps. We'll see. There's a lot of options here, really. We'll, we'll confirm that one, then. So it's going to be good against this airfield here. 